I'm talking about wonder. For 10-year-old Augie, Jacob Tremblay, attending school for the first time after being home-tutored by his mother is an unusually confronting experience. Augie was born with a congenital facial abnormality, and even 27 surgical operations haven't succeeded in making him look normal. His face is heavily scarred, his eye sockets appear abnormally large, and he sees himself as a freak, much more comfortable when hidden beneath the astronaut's helmet he frequently wears. Augie's story unfolds in wonder, an adaptation of a book by R.J. Palaccio that was aimed at teenagers, and Stephen Chbosky's film is, for the most part, a decent and respectful insight into the troubled world of children like Augie. Augie lives with his well-to-do parents, Isabel, Julia Roberts, and Nate, Owen Wilson, and his supportive older sister, Via, Isabella Vidovich, in a comfortable house in New York. Isabel put her own career on hold in order to raise the boy and give him an elementary education. But now she's decided that it's time for him to face the outside world, and the progressive Beecher Prep School has been selected, partly because its headmaster, Mandy Batinkin, is such a thoroughly decent man. You can't help wondering what fate would have befallen Augie if his parents weren't well off, and if he'd been forced to attend a public school at a younger age. But that's another story. Even at Beecher, there are bullies, and chief among them is Julian, who is the way he is, as we eventually discover, thanks to his extremely odious mother. But Augie is good-natured and fairly resilient, and he makes friends too. Jack becomes, for a while at least, his buddy. Owing a debt to other films about the problems faced by radically disfigured protagonists, Mask, the Peter Bogdanovich film of 1985, inevitably comes to mind, Wonder always threatens to become unbearably sentimental. That it mostly avoids this is due to the fact that this isn't only Augie's story. The device of using chapters named after different characters in the film is a useful one, as employed here, especially since the chapter devoted to Via, his sister, affords so much insight into the world of the older sister who feels she's always been neglected by her parents because they've given so much of their love and attention to her little brother. A scene in which she remembers a loving moment with her late grandmother, played by Sonia Braga, is a real gem. Vidovich is exceptionally good in this key role, but of course it's Tremblay, who was the little boy in Room, who is front and centre, and who's also giving a most winning performance. If, in the end, the film feels a little too tidy, a little too contrived in the way the plot elements are neatly sewn together, this is perhaps a small price to pay for a film with its heart firmly in the right place. I'm giving Wonder three and a half stars. Mm-hmm.